Oh, God. I hope Joan's home. My back's killing me. Oh, God. Oh! oh. Thank God you're here. Oh, my God, you scared me. <laughs> well, I was doing the exercises on the DVD. Yeah. And my back is hurting Joan, and I don't understand why. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about the underlying causes of, of back pain, okay? All right. All right, let me okay. put this down here. Um, really, your spine, like, um, you know, the joints in the spine have to move normally in order to be pain-free. So if your spine is not lined up properly and nice and straight, Mm -hmm. uh, the joints don't move normally, and that creates not only back pain, but it also causes a lot of uh, increased degeneration and um, um, arthritis and degenerative joint disease, degenerative disc disease. Um, so, you know, if you can imagine kind of the axle of your car being bent mm -hmm. and what that would do to the tires. Uh, the discs in your spine are a lot like the tires. Uh, if mm. they, they'll get really worn out because the axle is bent, and uh, you, you go around the corner a little too fast, and boom, the tire blows. Well, that's exactly what happens to your disc. Um, you just bend over the wrong way or move the wrong way, and you can end up with a herniated disc. So uh, it's very important to keep your spine straight and lined up yeah well so my my spine is like a bent axle on a car yeah yeah that's a really good analogy is huh. uh, the bent axle but how did it get that way well it gets that way because the foundation of the spine is not level if the foundation is tipped um, it causes the rest of the spine to go into an abnormal side bending and rotated position that I'm talking about. Hmm. Um, so if you could use the analogy of, of like a house, if you take the foundation of your house and you tip it, uh, the walls are going to crumble and crack all the way up to the ceiling. And that's exactly what happens with your spine when the foundation or the pelvis is not level and stable. Wow, that makes sense. Yeah. So. Uh, whatever technique you're using uh, to, to work with your spine, you want to make sure that that technique levels and stabilizes your pelvis. And the more it does that, the less pain you're going to have and the healthier your spine is going to stay. So whether you're using physical therapy, uh, Pilates, yoga, chiropractic, you know, whatever technique you're using, the more it levels and stabilizes your spine and keeps it there, mm -hmm. the more effective it's going to be to not only keep your pain uh, diminished, but uh, also to keep your spine healthy. Hmm. So, so really you need a combination of stretching the muscles that pull your spine and pelvis out of alignment, and then strengthening the muscles that hold your spine in alignment so you need a combination of stretching and strengthening okay so um, there's not that many techniques out there that do a combination of both um, and that's what you need so I mean if you're just doing yoga and they're just doing stretches that is not enough and if you're doing Pilates there's a couple of things you have to you know be concerned with with Pilates also but really, you need a really comprehensive approach, like I'm talking about. Okay. Um, that DVD that you're doing, uh, the missing link to neck and back pain relief, really it gets very specific on exactly what stretches you need to do, uh, and and what strengthening exercises you need to do. And there's there's the three different levels of beginning, intermediate, and advanced, and um, so. Uh, are you doing those exercises consistently, or well, what's happening? Well, well, I did them, and my pain went away. So what are you saying I have to keep doing them? Is that what you're saying? You have to keep doing uh. them because once an unstable pelvis, always an unstable pelvis, and you have to keep doing the exercises. Oh, um, like that's I, my mistake. Yeah. I do the exercises five times a week because I have to work as a physical therapist and hmm. I need my back to be really strong and healthy. 
and then I'm also very active in my personal life so and I want to stay active and have a high quality to my life so I do the exercises five days a week and I do uh, 100 reps of level three which is just three three different exercises and uh, it takes me five minutes and I'm done and I'm pain free and healthy well, I, I feel like I'm lazy, Joan, so you know what, I need to go and do my exercise. It only takes me 10 minutes, so I don't know why I put myself through this. Uh, back to work, right? Back to work. Yeah, hey, I'll see you soon, I hope. Okay. Nice talking to you. All Bye. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a little embarrassed. <laughs> I can't even do 10 minutes, and she does 100 reps. Yeah, hmm. show off. <laughs>